Machu Picchu, Peru. Machu Picchu, which means old mountain, is a mystical Inca site in the mountains of Peru, which is often referred to as the lost city of the Incas. It is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Machu Picchu is in the Cusco region of Peru, 7,950 feet above the sacred valley. Various stories about its origin. Some people suggest that the citadel was once a summer retreat for kings, while others believe it was inhabited by aliens. Archaeologists believe that the site was built in approximately 1400 AD by King Pachacuti. Machu Picchu was rediscovered by explorer Harm Bingham in 1911. Picchu is a city comprised of more than 200 buildings, temples, houses, pathways, fountains, and altars all cut from gray granite. There's no evidence of fortified walls, which means this was not a fortress. Many of the stone blocks weigh more than 50 tons. In all, are cut and fitted together in such a precise manner that it raises the question, how did they create such a monumental place? Viracocha was the supreme god of the Incas. He was considered the creator god and was the father of all Inca gods. It was he who formed the earth, heavens, sun, moon, and all living things. When he finished his work, he was believed to have traveled far and wide, teaching humanity and bringing the civilized arts before he headed west across the Pacific. He was never to be seen again, but promising one day to return. In his absence, lesser deities were assigned the duty of looking after the interests of the human race, but Viracocha was always watching the progress of his children. Pakakutek creates Machu Picchu. To commemorate his conquest of the Vilcabamba Valley, Pakakuchek ordered his third royal estate to be built on a high ridge overlooking what is now called the Urambamba River. The Incas apparently called the new site Pichu, meaning peak. From the start, it was planned as a luxurious private estate. The entire complex would display some of the finest examples of Inca engineering and art. The complex of what is now known as the ruins of Machu Picchu was carefully planned and designed long before the first granite block was ever cut and moved into place. The location had to be both sacred and spectacular. The site that Pakakutek selected was set high atop a ridge with an almost godlike view over the entire area. It was essential that the site also contained a source of clean water, a substance sacred in itself that could be used for drinking, bathing, and for ritual purposes. Pichu possessed just such a crucial characteristic. On the large peak now known as Machu Picchu, high above the proposed citadel, Inca engineers located a natural spring. They then designed a gravity-fed water system that would eventually carry water down from the peak to the ridge top site, where it would ultimately pass through 16 descending ritual fountains. How did they build this? There's little information about how or who built Machu Picchu, or how the stones were brought to the mountains. Also, the Inca Empire did not know the wheel, which makes us wonder how they moved the rocks. The construction has no cement. The stones were cut in polygonal form. The precision of its forms is so exact that some engineers think they were molded by the use of heat, but that does not make sense because that kind of technology was not available. Machu Picchu is a very unique place. Its construction, location, and architecture all baffle archaeologists on how and why they built this without modern technology. Only a few people have permission to enter to this magical and beautiful sanctuary, to perform the rituals and ceremonials related to their gods and their principal festivities. Intihuatana stone as an astronomic clock or calendar by the Incas in Machu Picchu. One of the functions that archaeologists suggest of this spot is that of astronomical observations. A specific stone at the highest part of the site, the Intihuatana stone, was used to indicate with accuracy the two equinoxes as well as other celestial events. Local shamanic legends refer to the stone as a gateway to spirits. The person who touches the stone with his forehead would then be able to enter the spirit world. Currently taking place and recently, French mechanic David Krepsky thinks he discovered a secret entrance that leads to an underground room in the center of the city. Just named Theory Dominant Team not only confirmed what David suspected, but with help of instruments verified that many rooms exist below the city and behind the seal entrance as well as gold and other precious metals. Before Pakakuta became king, he went once to visit his father, Veracuca. He reached his spring and saw a crystal tablet fall into it. The tablet showed a figure of an Indian. He was dressed with a headdress of the Incas. Three shining rays like the sun sprang from the top of his head. Snakes were coiled around his arms at the shoulder joints. 
Pakakutek was so afraid he ran that he heard a voice say, Come here, my child, have no fear. I am your father, the sun. I know you will honor me and remember me. After seeing this, the vision disappeared. Pakakutek took the tablet and kept it. After this, it served him as a mirror in which he could see anything he wanted. Later, he had a statue made of the sun, which was none other than the image he had seen in the crystal tablet. He later built a temple of the sun called Gorakanka. The legend of the Piroraka soldiers or stone soldiers is an Incan legend that mystifies the victory of the Incan army over the Chanka army in 1438. The Indian legend speaks of a massive battle where the Incas saw themselves outnumbered against a terrifying enemy, but invoked their greatest deity asking for help. The god Raracoca responded to their call by turning rocks into soldiers, helping the Inca defend their city, causing the enemy to retreat in fear. Machu Picchu and why? How did they manage to move and place such enormous blocks? And most importantly, why was it abandoned? Was this stone city a summer retreat for royalty? Was it built by a technologically advanced human race? Or was it an intergalactic holiday destination built by extraterrestrials? There's plenty of room for speculation, but when you're standing at the top of Machu Picchu, it's difficult to differentiate between fact and fiction. Make up your own mind. What do you think? Was Machu Picchu built by aliens? Please comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. everybody and follow me from the beach to the cold or in the sea it's time for learning it's time for fun it's a great adventure for everyone come on everybody and follow me jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea it's time for adventure fun and learning scuba jack it's a shark attack yay Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon.